all the books. Hey, hey, it's time for book reviews. Hello everyone and welcome to Folkmaster's vlog for the Warhammer for the Thousand Gaming System created by Games Workshop based in the UK. And welcome to book review number 48 of this vlog. Today I'm going to be reviewing the audio drama called Iron Corpses written by David Annandale. It's performed by Annie Altington, Sean Barrett and Saul Reitling. So I have already talked about the front cover for the Eagle's Talon so I won't repeat myself here. This was, this was first released as an audio drama and later reprinted within the anthology called Eye of Terra. It serves as a duology together with the Eagle's Talon where this is the second part preceding by the, the other audio drama. And this should also be noted that this is a part of the T Battle of Talon conflict so it also do have some small slight connection to the other stories which I have reviewed previously before this and will review after this. So this will be day 3 of this thematic week and uh, hopefully it's going to be very exciting. So the story is as follows. The ravaged world of Talon plays host to the greatest armored conflict in the history of mankind. The bitter and vengeful Iron Warriors led entire divisions of tanks and war machines across the befouled plains until the macro transporter Eagle's Talon plunged to the surface and ended a million lives in a heartbeat. Stranded upon some unnamed toxic battlefield that now resembles nothing more than the graveyard of titans, Warsmith Corpanos knows that he has precious little time left. Will he find salvation amidst the dead god machines or quickly succumb to violent madness? So picking up right after the destruction of the Eagle's Talon, the reader follows along the disaster area where it exploded on the titan engagement. Sean Barrett performs as the narrator, and I won't repeat myself too much as I've said in the past that I enjoy him as a performer for characters, but rarely as the narrator. Six days after the destruction, the weather be begins to clear enough for Warsmith Corpanus to leave his blasted rhino. This is the first story that takes the perspective of the Iron Warriors, which is a delight, but unfortunately it's just one of them down on his luck. One thing I've gone to like about the Talon books is that both sides are on even terms. Even though the Iron Warriors are superior, they are also limited by the extreme weather conditions. He is voiced by Saul Reichlin and he voices his curses on, on his enemies as he fights on despite the situation. He reaches a warlord class titan named Ostensor Contricio. Saul Reichlin, I believe, also voices the machine spirit of the titan. It has some nice effects added to it, so we'll take a short time to listen to it. He examined the ducts, eventually tracing one that vented the power plant's heat upwards into the exchange system at the rear of the carapace. Warning! Warning! Reactor failsafes disengaged. Extreme hazard. Heat spike detected. Coolant system failure imminent. Annie Aldington plays the character Princess Benrath, who was seriously wounded in the explosion. She calls out another character called Meridius, who most likely was already dead by this point. She managed to get that slowly growing panic feeling in her voice. She truly sounds like a character growing even more desperate by the hour. Engine seer Meridius, we have power again. Are you well? The woman's voice was that of a mortally wounded warrior. Copernus dragged himself back to the workstation in silence. He was no adept of the Mechanicum, but he was a warsmith. Though he was not privy to the most arcane mysteries of the Titans, he knew how to shape a battlefield. He knew how to shape war itself. So he would make Ostenso Contricio answer to his will, one way or another. Meridius! They come to agreement of putting her back in connection with the Titan, but it would be irreversible and most likely nothing of her would survive. He prepares everything, but when she finally sees the colors of his armor, all she can say is... Raider! He then says that... You trusted blindly. So did we once, but we learned our lesson in time. Have you? I think not. 
which I think is a bitter ironic twist to the whole thing as it reflects a lot of how mistreated the Iron Warriors was. It doesn't take pleasure in deceiving one loyalist, but corrupting a whole titan sure does. She promises that he will be defeated, but with an almost utter indifferent tone he replies Not by you. No. Not by you. Her scream as she is taken over the, into the manifold is quite horrifying actually. The titan is functional again and begins to stride for his battle. He was stuck in that horrible place but having a titan at his disposal surely doesn't lessen the situation. It ends there. This is a story about I isolation, a character in a lonely vulnerable situation. This is a story that works better in audio format but unlike the other part of the duology it can stand on its own in just written format but it loses a lot of its fine details and touch in, in the written format. So what do you think about this audio drama? Well I think it's a heavy story in its simplicity. It tells the story of a single character st stuck in a certain situation it's rather self-contained, actually, despite being a part of the whole talent conflict. It isn't necessary for the bigger picture, but it is a nice story that I can actually recommend that you check out. I will give it 6 out of 10 forks, and with that I will conclude this audio drama review. Thank you very much for watching this audio drama review, and don't forget to rate and subscribe to my channel. Please give a thumbs up on my videos, and also leave comments on things I'm doing good, so I keep on doing them, and leave negative tick on things I'm doing bad, so you can improve or remove the content entirely. And also don't forget to share this with your friends, if it could be interesting, entertaining, or simply inspiring. Oh, and I'm also on Facebook these days. There's a link down in the description, check it out and see if you like it. I try and update more regularly there than I do here on YouTube. Not by much, but a little to make a difference. But with that said, thank you very much for watching this audio drama review. Iron within, iron without. Bye!